Hi, my name is M.G. Tyndall, and I'm the president and CEO here at Inspiration Ranch. We are very excited that you're exploring the opportunity of volunteering here at the ranch. Back in 2006, when Inspiration Ranch started, we never dreamed we'd be where we are today, and we couldn't be without the help of our volunteers. This past year alone, volunteers did over $300,000 worth of work here at the ranch. So we can't do what we do without you stepping up to volunteer. There are multiple ways to volunteer here at Inspiration Ranch. Not only can you work in the program with sidewalking, horse leading, and prepping our horses for lessons, but you can also volunteer on the property team, with our events team, or administratively in the offices. I wanna thank you again for exploring the opportunities to volunteer here at Inspiration Ranch. For additional information on volunteer opportunities, you can visit our website at inspirationranch.org volunteer. Hi, I'm Jen Vincent. I'm the volunteer coordinator here at Inspiration Ranch. I'll be here to guide you through this process. Come on, let's step into the arena. Upon arrival, sign in, get your name tag, and position yourself by the helmet rack to greet your rider. Adjust the wheel at the back to open up the helmet for fitting. The helmet should sit level, straight above the eyebrows, two fingers above. The side pieces should form a triangle around the ear with the button positioned directly under the ear. Put your finger in between the chin and strap to snap closed. Adjust the wheel at the back to tighten the helmet. It should be snug enough that when you move the helmet, the rider's eyebrows slightly move up and down. At the end of each lesson, spray cleaner inside and return your rider's helmet to the cabinet. Mounting is the first time the team comes together. Because of this, the mounting process holds the most room for hazard and there needs to be extra awareness and care during this process. For the croup mount, the offside volunteers should wait to step into position until the horse is in place for mounting. The offside volunteer's primary job is to apply pressure with their right hand into the stirrup so the saddle does not shift during mounting. With your left hand, help guide the rider's leg so that they do not kick the horse while mounting. Be cautious about touch and use your forearm to guide the rider as needed, rather than grabbing an ankle or leg. Once the rider is mounted, help guide the rider's foot into the stirrup, making sure it is positioned at the ball of the foot. Position yourself in a thigh hold with your elbow at the hip and fingers anchored on the front of the tack to prepare to move into the arena. Wait to move until the rider indicates they are ready to ride on. The crest mount is normally used for a rider in need of more assistance. Therefore, the instructor and volunteer need to be in constant communication before and during the mounting process. The offside volunteer should wait to step into position until the horse is in place for mounting. The offside volunteer should have straight back, knees bent, and both hands ready to receive the rider's seat and ready to reposition the rider, dependent on the size and ability. Once the rider is positioned sideways, the instructor will lift both knees to pivot the rider 90 degrees on the saddle. The offside volunteer should help provide back support and help lift the right leg over the crest. Whether or not the rider's legs will be guided into the stirrup will have been determined before the mounting process. Position yourself in a thigh hold with your elbow at the hip and fingers anchored on the front of the tack to prepare to move into the arena. Wait to move until the rider indicates they are ready to ride on. The peacock stirrup has a rubber band on one side to allow quick release if needed. The rubber band side should be positioned to the outside of the rider's foot, with the stirrup at the ball of the rider's foot. The S stirrup has an S shape on one side of the stirrup to allow the toe extra room for quick release if needed. The S side should be positioned to the outside of the rider's foot, with the stirrup at the ball of the rider's foot. The instructor will advise volunteers on which hold will be used and the amount of pressure to be applied. Your holds may change throughout your sessions with a rider, as the objective throughout a rider's progression is to lessen support needed as they become more independent. The thigh hold positions the volunteers with their elbow at the hip and fingers anchored on the front of the tack. The instructor will advise amount of pressure to be applied. The thigh and ankle hold positions the volunteers with their horse side elbow at the hip and fingers anchored on the front of the tack. With the opposite hand, reach across with thumb down and position the hand at the back of the rider's ankle. The position of the hand at the ankle allows you to make sure the rider's leg stays in proper alignment and is not interfering with the horse. Position the horse side hand at the back of the rider's ankle. 
The position of the hand at the ankle allows you to help make sure the rider's leg stays in proper alignment and is not interfering with the horse. The cuff hold is less intrusive for riders who struggle with touch or tactile sensitivity. With the horse side hand, put the fingertips at the hem of the rider's pants and make a fist. Because this hold has less connection to the rider and the horse, be aware of how much pressure you are applying and that you are not leaning into the cuff. The spotter walks alongside the horse with their shoulders side by side the rider's leg. As opposed to physical assistance, the spotter's role can range from hand over hand assistance to simple verbal prompts in helping to refocus the rider. If your arm gets tired during a lesson, let your instructor know. The instructor will take place of sidewalker one while sidewalker two stays in place. Sidewalker one should walk around to the front of the horse to replace sidewalker two. Sidewalker two will then walk around the front of the horse to replace the instructor. This ensures the rider has two sidewalkers at all times. If you see something, say something. Throughout your lesson, be aware of your hold, the rider's body language, and any need for adjustment or repositioning. The instructor will step in for a volunteer to lead the dismount process. The offside volunteer needs to be sure the foot is out of the stirrup and will assist the right leg at the knee over the croup, making sure the leg is lifted enough to clear the horse. The instructor will step in for a volunteer to lead the dismount process. The offside volunteer needs to be sure the foot is out of the stirrup and in unison, the instructor and volunteer will lift the knees. Be sure to offer back support as the knees come up and as you assist the right leg over the crest. The instructor will designate the sidewalker in charge of the emergency dismount process. If the instructor calls for riders off, both sidewalkers assist the rider in releasing their reins and getting their feet out of the stirrups. The designated sidewalker grabs the rider around the waist and pulls the rider to their body and walks backwards until they clear the horse. Be sure to bend your knees, keep your back straight, and chin up to protect yourself in this process. If you are assigned this position and are not comfortable, let the instructor know and they will reassign the process. The role of the sidewalker is purely to support the rider. Alert the instructor if you have any concerns and the instructor will determine the actions or adjustments needed. If the rider is off balance, quietly alert the instructor or other volunteers, allowing the rider or instructor to reposition. If the rider loses a stirrup, reposition the foot in the stirrup, ensuring the safety device is on the outside. Once positioned, please do not leave the rider for any reason. Please do not hold conversation over the instructor's teaching. When approaching a horse, approach towards the horse's shoulder with a fist to allow them to smell you. We call this a horse's handshake. If the horse seems apprehensive or uncomfortable, take a step back and slow your approach. The best place to pet a horse is long strokes on their neck or shoulder. The face is a sensitive area and should be avoided. Horses have blind spots directly in front of them and behind them. Do not walk behind them or cross under their neck. The consistency of a sidewalker allows the client and volunteer to bond and become a team. Please know that in your absence, you will be missed. You are a rider's support both physically and socially. I want to thank you again for stepping up to volunteer at Inspiration Ranch. You're helping us to offer hope, renew lives, and inspire change. And we can't do it without you.